We are getting ready to plan and to execute our plans for 2021, but it would be really good if we could know what are some of the trends or at least top trends that we should look for in sales. In today's episode, I'm gonna give you some specific ones, but I'm gonna tailor them towards prospecting. Hopefully these can help you as much as they're helping me and my team. Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome to another great episode of the Sales Evangelist podcast here on TSC TV on YouTube. I am your host, Donald Kelly, the Sales Evangelist. And I'm so excited for another great episode. I'm so excited to be here with you today and to evangelize some trends that I feel that are important that you understand, especially when it comes to prospecting going into 2021. Now, there are many different ideas, and I'm, I'm sure there are many different trends that you've been aware of or you're seeing or reading articles about. Now, I'm telling you up front, these are not all trends that I came up with. I'm not that smart. Some other folks from places such as Forrester, as well as some other online sales uh, platforms that we truly, uh, that we feel are reputable and that are bringing a lot of great information to the light. Are, are where we got some of these sources. We're gonna actually take our take on, put our take on them, though, however. Some of these are stats, but they need to be interpreted accordingly. So I'll give you some of these and then we're gonna break them down. We'll take a break, then we'll come back and finish up the last two. So we'll do three, a break, and come back and finish up the last two. But before that, I, I just wanna let you know, man, this this is gonna be an amazing year. I feel it. Now, there are, are obviously a lot of crazy things that happened last year, right? You've seen it. We've experienced it. Every company in the world had been touched. Everyone in the world had been touched by this global pandemic. And we're seeing some some resolution to that, but it's not quite perfect. So, But we can still make a mental change, however, and to make 2021 that year, the year we do well. So let's figure out some of these trends. So the first point is that 40% of businesses did not meet their revenue target. Now, here's the implication. This is some of our friends over at Sales Hacker that pointed this out. 64% of sales leaders said that they, uh, 64% of sales leaders who doubled down on remote selling reported that they met or exceeded their revenue targets in 2020. It's like COVID helped us to go 30 years into the future in the way that we are performing or operating as businesses. If you think about it, when we started off the year 2020, even 2019, the idea of remote working was, yeah, I mean, a lot of people did some remote working, but it wasn't the whole world. Now the whole world was forced into doing remote work and we saw the difference in how that was able to help organization to be more nimble and to become more effective. More and more of your prospects are going to be working from home. They're going to be in remote scenario and it's your role as a sales rep to be able to figure out ways to be able to grab their attention, understanding they're not necessarily in the offices anymore. And you've seen what happened with that when you're working from home. You got kids, you got dogs barking, you have... Uh, you know, you have the mail people coming by, you have shipments and deliveries coming and all kinds of different situations. I mean, I was on a call with a prospect the other day and she had uh, some challenges where her daughter had to stay home that day and she was doing mommy work as well as taking care of her family and then she was also doing her work. So there's a means, uh, ways for us to be able to be more empathetic and to understand where these buyers are coming from and you can use some of those strategies as you're prospecting, you know, be more... Uh, be more of a human. And I'm going to get to that point as we go a little bit further down. Point number two. So this was from a Forbes article that Sales Hacker had in one of their posts as well, is that 81% of non-C-suite employees have some influence on the purchase decision. So you're probably saying, what does this have to do with prospecting, Donald? Well, let's think about this. More and more people who are a part of that decision-making process are not C-suite individuals. And here's another study that you should be aware of as well, is that 73% of millennials uh, millennial workers are involved in the decision-making process. 73% of the, the folks who are making decisions are millennials. You need to understand how millennials operate. And a lot of millennials are utilizing platforms such as Twitter and using platforms such as uh, um, you know, at LinkedIn. They're more social. It's imperative that you in your prospecting efforts are looking for ways to connect with these individuals um, sooner in the process as opposed to just waiting to be able to, be, able to int be introduced. So trying to make sure you connect with more and more people and understanding that more and more of these people are going to be remote. Think about ways that you can connect to them on a human level and understanding what care or millennials care about. A lot of them care about causes and about ways that they can become more efficient. If that's the case, then understand this and as you're going to pros going in your prospecting efforts. Point number three. AI and automation. Yes, many sellers are thinking that AI and automation 
is the end all be all and AI and automation we've seen to be very, very effective. However, it does have its downfalls. So here's the point I want to point out to you. This came from Gartner, excuse me, Forrester, forgive me about that. <laughs> Forrester, the folks over Forrester said, AI and automation will put sellers on a path to fulfill their consultative destiny. And here's why, because many salespeople, the big thing that they complain about is that they have so much administrative work that it's holding them down and bogging them from doing the things that they are designed to do, to be able to meet with prospects and close deals. Many sellers I talk to and coach, they say that the administrative task burdened their time. And we're seeing that companies moving into 2021 are looking for, or our, our sales reps are abandoning those things and focusing more on what they're designed to do or in the role for to consult and to close using CRMs that have automation. Let me give you an example. If you've heard of CRMs such as monday.com, I mean a great CRM, you look at uh, salesdirector.ai, pipe drive, salesforce, you name it. A lot of these CRMs have capabilities now or automation tools built inside of them. Now, AI adoption by sales team is projected to increase by 139% within the next three years. Think about that, AI adoption, let me repeat that. AI adoption by sales team is expected to increase by 139% over the next three years. So this is one trend that you could get ahead of, especially when it comes towards your prospecting effort. Now, don't think I'm saying you don't need to personalize, of course, because we're going to get to that one as another point when we get back from the break. But the key part there, things that are menial, things that you don't necessarily need you to do, who's getting paid $70,000 a year to go and uh, to, to waste your time or half your day doing, can we automate some of those things? Now, going into point number four, this is around personalization. With more and more automation in place now by companies, it leaves that vacuum for the personalization where people want to connect. They want to talk to human beings. If I'm not going to the office and I'm living in a place where it's cold and I only have my family members and I go to the grocery store every once in a while and do Zoom with everybody else, there's just something about being able to interact with the individual, with somebody else that's important, right? Being able to just touch, shake people's hands skin to skin. It's, um, there's power in that. Automation has its place, but there can be certain times where avenues where you can add the human into that effect. Look for ways that you can add more humanistic portions in that. You can look for ways that you can inject more of human being, more of your humanistic side into it. Here's what Tim Cook from CEO, the CEO of Apple said. For all of the beauty of technology and all the things we've helped facilitate over the years, nothing yet replaced human interaction. All right, point number five, B2B sellers will become expert at creating and engaging with videos. In a recent survey, they plan to modify their tactics to adapt to remote selling activities. Sellers will look for more ways that they can be more dynamic, how they can grab the prospect's attention. 70% of B2B sellers say that social referrals convert faster than any other lead that they're getting that you spend time on LinkedIn. I've always stated this, you should send out about like 10 to 15 personal connection to potential customers, people that could be a customer to you on LinkedIn daily. If you're doing that, great, you're in the right direction. The second thing is that you need to make sure you connect with people who actually connect with you. And what that means is send them a personal message and have a dialogue. If somebody reaches, send a connection request to you. And then after that, what you can do is make sure you share content. Think about your ideal customer. What are some of the biggest challenges or pain or difficulties or questions that they have? And people, again, are looking for ways to connect. If I was to just be there for you online and just to be a friend, you're locked up in your house, I'm locked up in my house, it will go a long way again that somebody else cares for me and see me as a human rather than just as some as a, as a dollar, dollar sign or as a potential deal. Anyways, that's all my trends and advice and tips I want to give you. Hope you're doing well. I want you to succeed as always. I want you to find more of those ideal customers. I want you to know what to say when you're reaching out to them. I want you to be able to close more deals. But most importantly, I want you to go out each and every single day and do big things. Hey, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video today. If you enjoyed the content, I ask you to go ahead and hit that like button, that thumbs up at the bottom right hand corner. Also to make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. This way we'll keep you up to date with all the latest sales strategies, latest tools and things that are going to help you to not only find more prospects, but to close more deals. Thanks so much.